Hey everyone, so I want to talk about using the Nova Launcher on your Amazon Fire device. For this demonstration, I am using a Fire, a 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus here. Uh, but as long as you can get the Google Play Store on your Fire device, this should work just fine. Uh, so that is a big thing though here is you need to get the Google Play Store. You have to download it off of the internet uh, in order for this to work because the App Store here, Amazon App Store, does not have the Nova Launcher. Uh, if you guys do not know how to get Google Play Store, either just Google it or go to my channel or just YouTube it. Uh, I have a video on this myself. Otherwise, I'm sure YouTube has many other videos and then Google also has uh, how to do it. Uh, so you have to get the Google Play Store and then once you get a Google Play Store, you just search for Nova Launcher and then you download it. Simple as that. Uh, Google Play Store takes like five, 10 minutes to get. Uh, so again, the Amazon App Store does not have any launchers in it. Uh, so Nova Launcher seems to be a very popular launcher for these devices. Uh, people do not seem to like Amazon Fire OS, uh, their own oper operating system here, their own skin of it. Uh, so you can kind of change it using Nova Launcher to be a more of a normal looking Android. Uh, and now I'm just going to show that off here. Uh, so like on your normal Amazon Fire OS faces, uh, skin here, you have your home, you have your for you, and you have your library. So on your home, you have every single app that you have downloaded will show up on here. Uh, some people do not like that. Some people re would rather just have their apps they use the most uh, than have all their other apps tucked away somewhere. Uh, again, which is what Nova Launcher does, as I'll show off in a moment here. We also have library, which shows off different apps and what you have in them. And then your for you, which is basically recommendations. Uh, and on this, you do not have widgets. See a touch and hold here. There's really no widgets. Um, you can tap and hold an app and drag it to another app, and it will combine them into uh, into a folder of sorts, uh, which you were not able to do in past, uh, well, be before a few updates ago. Basically, uh, in the past, you could not do that. Uh, so we can go into Nova Launcher here and I'll show this off, which is of course why you're here. Uh, so this is Nova Launcher. So it brings you into a more or less a normal Android looking, uh, well, OS basically. Uh, so you have just like any other Android, your main home screens here, left or right brings you to other ones. And you can put apps on wherever you basically want to here. Uh, I mean, I can drag and drop this and bring it anywhere. Um, yeah, and then if you drag from the very bottom here, going up, it will bring you to all of your apps, like on the Fire OS where that's all on the home. Uh, that would be how you get to it on Nova Launcher here. And then if you want to bring an app from here onto your home screen, just drag, uh, just hold it there and drag it on up and you can put it wherever you want. Or you can also put it down here. See, it's already right there though. And then of course, drag and hold it and then you can remove it from your home screen there. And then you also have your main bar here that will stay with you on no matter what home screen you are on. And then if you just touch and hold, you can bring up wallpapers, widgets, and settings. So this is something different than what is on Fire OS. So this gives you widgets here. Decent amount of them. Uh, so this big clock here is a widget. And then if you want to get rid of said widget, just do that and remove. Again, to bring it up, just hold on to it and drop. So there you go. Uh, that's the main gist of this, is just turning your fire tablet into a normal looking Android. Uh, by normal I mean like a Samsung or I think like the Lenovo's are pretty similar. Uh, never actually used a Lenovo one but uh, but basically like the Samsung's are. Uh, then here we have settings. Uh, see a whole bunch of different settings so you can actually set to be how many apps on the screens you want. Uh, how big they are, padding, dock, uh, your dock, which would be the stuff down there. Uh, you know, 
These things down here would be your dock. Then you have your different folders, look and feel, a whole bunch of different stuff. Night mode, if you want to have that on, uh, just search inputs, integrations. Like I said there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do in here, and you even have advanced stuff as well. Uh, now, the one problem, and you guys correct me, please correct me if I'm wrong here. And I have, along with other launchers I've tried in the past, you see that I hit back button, or if you hit, say you're on, uh, I don't know, say we're on YouTube here and we hit the home button, it brings you back to the Amazon Fire OS uh, skin. It does not bring you back to Nova Launcher. You guys can let me know. I searched and I searched and I could not find out, maybe there isn't a way uh, to make Nova Launcher your your main launcher uh, instead of OS. I know I did read some things that Amazon does not like you doing that. Um, of course, I mean, they don't even want you to, to download Google Play Store. Uh, so, of course, they do not want you downloading other launchers on their tablets for whatever reason. It's probably something similar to, like, Apple. Um, but if you guys know how to make this more or less, we'll say, permanent, uh, let me know. But I said, even in here, there isn't anything. There is Nova. Let me see where it went to here. Uh, select default launcher, which will just be for, like, your internet browsing System voice input and then opening links. Uh, so you can just change it up. You've got like Google Chrome or something on here as well. Uh, I can change that. But it doesn't actually seem to have any way of making this your your only launcher. I uh, see again there hit back. Uh, so what that means though, it means nothing major. Because we can just go see here, those real fast. Uh, what that means is say you're in YouTube here. All you have to do to go back to Nova is instead of hitting home, just hit the app button there and then go back to Nova. So yeah, that is Nova Launcher for Fire OS, well, Fire tablets basically here. Uh, again, this is the 2020 Fire HD 8 Plus here. And this sh this will work uh, with any, any Fire tablets. Uh, as long as, like I said, you can get the Google Play Store, uh, which as far as I know, every one I've tried uh, has worked. Some people have issues getting it for whatever reason, uh, but every one I personally have tried, all my own personal devices have the Google Play Store on them. Uh, but I, knew, I do know some people do say it does not always work for them. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that is the Nova Launcher. I mean, it's pretty cool. Again, if you don't like Fire OS's uh, skin here you can change it over to nova launcher and there are other launchers in the play store if you want something different yeah i mean there's a whole bunch of them uh yeah so that is nova launcher again if you guys know how to make this more of a permanent solution just leave it in the comments below uh and i will pin it if i see it and if it actually works i will pin it uh for those that want to know uh, personally, I do like Fire OS's thing here. It's just different from other devices like Samsung's. Um, so to me, different is a good thing, as long as it's not horribly implemented, uh, which to me, this isn't horrible. So uh, yeah, so that is Nova Launcher for Amazon Fire devices. Let me know what you guys think. And again, leave a comment if you know how to keep it permanent. Uh, uh, as I know for other launchers, you could go online and download it and download this and download that. Uh, but this this is a very easy way to get Nova Launcher. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Goodbye.